In an increasingly dynamic digital landscape, businesses and governments face formidable cyber challenges. BAE Systems Digital Intelligence stands ready with unparalleled threat intelligence, equipping its customers with essential insights to fortify resilience, enable decision advantage and stay ahead of cyber criminals. In today's connected world, everyone's at risk from cyber criminals. Individuals, governments, organizations large and small. The consequences of attack, potentially devastating. We've seen examples in the US of organizations going bankrupt and um, because they've had such a, a large ransomware incident. My name's Andy Snowball and my job role is Head of Incident Response at BA Systems. The threat landscape is continuously evolving. Um, threat actors are getting more advanced, they're using more techniques, more complicated techniques to compromise uh, organisations and get sensitive data out of them. It's essentially like a crime scene that we're walking into. So we go in there, we look at the evidence that the attacker's left behind. Um, we want to try and find out how the attacker got onto the network. Um, because if we don't find that out, we can't help to prevent it from happening again in the future. And that's crucial, because using this forensic approach builds up a library of intelligence, which, if responsibly shared, can help defend against new threats in the often ambiguous and less regulated grey zone, including political and election meddling, cyber attacks and economic coercion. Ryan Brady, Cyber Engineering Lead in our DI business. BA Systems Digital Intelligence as a company have a really important role to play in that because we sit at all, on, on all aspects of the spectrum from cyber defence all the way through to supporting military uh, uh, in their cyber activities. So it's a really, really fundamental part of our business. We're aligning ourselves to government in that approach and, and, and their drive in the national cyber strategy to kind of work more effectively with industry. This vision to create a national collective approach to cybersecurity relies on two-way communication and knowledge sharing between government and enterprise in pursuit of that common goal, defeating the cyber criminal. It goes back to the point about sort of the grey zone, much of it's still quite unregulated. You want to have that framework in place, but at the same time you want to encourage the agility and dynamism because technology is evolving so quickly. And there's a real push from government to have forums um, with, uh, with strategic partners, but also with um, sort of SMEs and using uh, the SME ecosystem where often you've got a lot of the innovative thinking to, to kind of corral uh, best practice, come up with thought leadership and actually share that and feed that into government. So it's these sort of forums and collective partnerships which I think will underpin some of the challenges we're facing. It's only by working together that we're really going to be able to tackle some of those. This idea of knowledge sharing highlights the human element of cyber. To achieve diversity of thought and skills, the industry must address diversity at a holistic level. A challenge BAE Systems is tackling head-on. Pervy K, Head of Cybersecurity Governance, Risk and Compliance. If you think about how diverse the cyber threats are themselves, how sophisticated they are themselves, we therefore need the same diversity and sophistication in the people that are helping us tackle those threats. When you think about that diversity gap in cyber, you think about gender, but there's much more than that. Neurodiversity is one we're focusing on quite a lot right now because their behaviours and traits of neurodivergent individuals are so crucial for some of the cyber roles we need. So it's things like pattern thinking, being detail oriented as well, being able to focus on one problem for a long time. We need to move away from the traditional ways that we're recruiting. But once they're through your door, the next step is how do we nurture them? It's completely different to how we did for neurotypical individuals. Studies have shown that those organisations that have got the most diverse workforce are the most productive. If you think about it, you've got diversity of culture, diversity of social background, you've got diversity of thinking, the way they think, learn, process. Why wouldn't you want it? This diversity in thinking across its global footprint is bolstering BAE Systems' expertise in the realm of threat intelligence. As much as we love responding to security incidents, we would much rather our customers didn't have them in the first place. So we have quite a large threat intelligence team in BA Systems. Um, this team is tracking all of the threat actors um, across the internet. So they're looking at what infrastructure are the threat actors are using, so malicious IP addresses and domains, uh, what malware samples are they using, um, but also what uh, techniques are the attackers using. They can use that information to protect our customers further. 
and by facilitating threat intelligence sharing across the national security network, helping to protect the rest of us as well.